Hello everyone, you're on to Jella Isis channel, a channel packed full of wonderful information. This channel never runs out of very useful and vital information. So if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't get left out. And if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed all this while, oh come on guys, be fair. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel because it is very important to me that you subscribe to my channel. Reason being that will help my channel to grow. It will help the growth of my channel and that is what I'm hoping for. So please, I need your support as you please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell icon. So when I upload new videos, you will be notified guys the lady you see in the video has been identified as esther iworo and she is currently in a very sorry and disturbing state she has appealed to her ex-husband the edo billionaire by name kakudu benson to assist and rescue her from the pangs of death guys just in case you don't know who mr kakudu benson is he is an edo billionaire socialist and the owner of royal maple hotel in benin city edo state in nigeria the woman that you see right here in this video claims to be the wife or ex-wife of mr kakudu benson and she said she had two boys and one girl that mr kakudu benson had taken to america and left her in nigeria to suffer guys the woman that you see in this video claims to be the ex-wife of Mr. Kakudu Benson and she said she had two boys and a girl for Mr. Kakudu Benson. These children have been taken to America by Mr. Kakudu Benson and he has left this woman in Nigeria to suffer according to her. But the thing I'm asking here is what really happened because it's not just seeing her here in this uncompleted building or in this sorry state and everyone is quick to say oh ah we need to get to the bottom of this what happened before mr kakudu benson had the mind to take his children to america leaving their mother behind and even at that him taking them and the children never bothered to look for their mom so at least it's 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 a very disturbing video but at the same time i would like you guys while watching the video and uh, feeling sorry for the woman to at the same time think of what could make a man leave the mother of his children and take the children making the woman suffer or making the woman be in a state like this now I think it's only fair for us to listen to both sides or both parties, at least hear from the man the reason why he left this woman and took the children away from her. You know, because I don't think any man in his senses would want to do that without a very genuine reason. Yes, there must be a very strong reason behind this very action that this man took i'm not taking sides with the man i am a woman please don't get me wrong people i feel really sorry for this woman in her state now but at the same time i am kind of going like thinking what could have warranted this what could have led to this could it have been avoided this these are the things just playing in my head first well, guys, I would like you guys to sit back and watch the video clip so you understand where I'm coming from and we'll take it from there. Hello, this is, um, this is the woman. Her name is Esther. I uh, Woro. She says she's the wife of uh, Kakudu Bensi. And she have uh, how many children, ma? Three children. Four. She says she have Three children. I have twins. Three children for him. Two boys and a girl. And those children are where now? They are in America with him. Who took them there? He took them there. Okay. He took That's them there. Living. This is where the woman is living. She's living in my compound. Because now I want to send her out. I want to send her out of this compound. I don't know what to do. Her situation is so bad. She was crying. She's crying. Look at uh, the room. She's sleeping. 
Look at the room that she's sleeping here. Somebody gave her this space in my compound. And uh, her situation is very bad. There's nowhere I can leave her here because uh, look at uh, what she, uh, her things. She sells to make money. This is what she said to make money. Her situation is so bad, so bad. Uh, she's, so, she's also sick. She cannot walk fine. She's so sick. She's, she cannot walk fine at all. So I can't believe this. Please. Just try and call this man. Send this uh, a video to this man. Madam, do you have anything to say? Just send a message to the father of your children. Friday. Friday. I love you. You are the father of my children. I still love you. No matter the situation. You kept me in this situation. I love you. Come and take me out of this place, please. I beg you. I'm suffering at the moment. Help me, please. <sighs> this is unbelievable. My heart is hot. I'm heart, <laughs> I'm heart broken, please. She lives here and um, I can't leave her in this compound. I don't know what to do. Because with this situation, I don't know how she can survive here. I don't want anything to happen to her and uh, tomorrow I'll be in the police station for what I don't know about. Her situation is so bad. Her situation is so bad. If I say bad, it is bad. If really Kakudu Bensi is the ex-husband to this woman, even an enemy, you cannot say uh, Kakudu Bensi cannot even exactly. leave an enemy on the streets like this. Talk less of a woman. Uh -uh, please, for goodness sake, for your name, please. Just try and see what you can do about this woman. Come to her aid. Her situation is so bad. Be, because, uh, <laughs> other people will come. She will mention Kakudu Bensi. Fred, Kakudu Bensi you. have a name. I beg you. I'm begging you. I didn't do anything for you. Please help me. Help me. I'm dying. I am dying. I'm getting old. Help me out, please. I beg you. Kakudu Bensi is a man that have a name in Benin. So for this woman to open her mouth to say that she is a wife, she was a wife, a, a she was a wife to Kakudu Bensi, had I children you. for Kakudu Bensi, and she's in this situation. Oh, please, he should do something. I flew in quickly when they say some, somebody like this is in this compound. I have to quickly come home. I just arrived the uh, day before yesterday. I have to quickly come God here to you. see this woman. And when, I, when I'm here now, the, her situation, I'm uh, Mommy, short of words. I'm short of words. I'm short of words. To hear that uh, she was once a wife to Kakudu Bensi. Her children for I'm Kakudu the Bensi. Wife. The first wife for Kakudu Bensi. Please, send this to Kakudu Bensi, please. So guys, you've watched the video clip and you've heard for yourselves, you've seen for yourselves all that the woman said about her relationship with uh, Mr. Kakudu Benson. And I know I did mention earlier that I don't know what a woman could have done for a man to harden up and take the children away from her and leave her in such state. But at the same time, no matter what she could have done, this is a woman you once told in your life that you loved her. You once told her you loved her for that particular thing alone, for that, for that particular reason alone. It is enough for you. Even though you're not like having any intimacy with her again, but at least you are capable to look after this woman. You are in position to look after this woman. It's not like maybe it is your responsibility to look after her. But please, in fairness, it is advisable. It is wise that you look after this woman. She is the mother of your children. The same children you are showing off now in America. This woman bore you those children. For the sake of those children, it is enough for you to just... Forgive this woman, whatever it is she may have done. I don't know. But she actually was even saying how much she loved you and she still loves you, that you are the father of her children, in spite of what you have done to her, which she didn't say here. But the way you have acted now is like she did something to you. But she said in spite of what you have done to her, that she still loves you. Who 
with a heart of stone will hear that and still harden up. No matter what. This is enough to melt your heart and come to this woman's rescue. No matter the situation, she said, she said she still loves you, that you should come and take her out of the problem, that she is suffering at the minute, you should please help her. According to what she said in the video, it is really heartbreaking, very touching. Wherever Mr. Kakudu Benson is, please let this video go around. Let it Touch the heart of Mr. Kakudu Benson. This woman needs help. To err, they say, is human and forgiveness is divine. Forgiveness, they say, is divine. So I'm using this video to please beg Mr. Kakudu Benson, wherever he is, to come to this woman's aid. She needs help at the minute. If you look at her, she doesn't look quite well, you know. She needs some medical attention. And you know what Nigeria is like. If you don't deposit money at the hospital, you're not getting treated. So that is it. This one that is selling used bottles, picking bottles on the streets to sell, to earn a living. Is it the same woman that's going to be able to go pay for hospital bill? No. But her ex-husband, the father of her children, that you cannot deny her. Her children, they are still her children. DNA will prove it that they are her children. You may have taken them away from her, but you, you're still the father of those children and she's still the mother of those children. That is enough reason. There's still a bond between you two. It's enough reason for you, Mr. Kakudu Benson, to come to this woman's rescue. Come and bell, because when she dies, I know you'll be the first to send money for her funeral. So why do you not now send money to her to look after herself, even though you don't call her your wife anymore? At least send her money to look after herself. Because no matter what, if they say today that she dies, you will be the first to say, oh, take her to the mug. You even say, oh, let them wire money to, to people that will look after the cops. So why now that she's alive, why don't you look after her? Huh? Please, Mr. Kakudu Benson, whoever that can reach this man, let this video. I'm really, really pained. I'm hurting because, number one, I am a woman. And number two, to err is human. They say forgiveness is divine. Where is the heart of this man? Has he got a heart? If he watches this video and not react positively, then I know he is a strange human being. I don't want to call him names, but a strange individual. I'm just going to rest my case there. Please, people, as you watch this video, make it go around. Let it go around. Share, 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 and share until it gets to Mr. Kakudu Benson because something has to be done about this woman. She cannot continue to languish like that in pain and agony while Mr. Kakudu Benson is living large his name is being dragged to the mud because now even his friends will be laughing at him. Oh, that is your wife. You haven't even looked after your family and you're here showing off. Charity, they say, begins at home but will not end there. You have to take it outside and exhibit and demonstrate. Mr. Kakudu Benson, you need to start from the grassroots, which is this woman. Please, 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 Mr. Kakudu Benson, I beg of you. I'm only begging of you. I'm not forcing it on you, but you being human, I'm begging the human side of you to please attend to this lady's need because she needs help urgently. Else something terrible might happen. And when the children, I don't know how old the children are now, but when they grow up to become responsible adults and they reflect back later they will find out that oh daddy could have saved our mom or we could have reached out to our mom i don't know why the children are not reaching out to their mother also i don't know what their father must have told them about their mom but at least they could have at least found a way to because i saw the woman holding a mobile phone they could have at least contacted someone that's got her number and let them ring their mother and speak to their mother because the children have their own blame also no matter what their father must have said to them your mother is your mother no matter what that is my take on this uh, issue and i'm sticking to it i'm holding on to it and i'm not changing it guys if you want to come for me after watching this video, I don't see any reason why you want to come for me. But if you come for me, it's entirely up to you. I have said my mind.
I don't know how many of you that saw the fire in this woman's eyes while watching the video clip as she was speaking to the owner of the premises where she's staying at the minute. You could see pain and agony in her eyes. Her eyes have turned red. You could see you could see the pain from the inside, even though she didn't say everything. But her body language will tell you that this woman is in agony. Very serious one. A serious agony she's going through. And any human being with a heart would want to help this woman. Would want to attend to this woman. That is why I'm still calling on her ex-husband, the father of her three children, Mr. Kakudu Benson, who happens to be a billionaire, according to news. I don't know him personally, but news has it that he is a billionaire. He is well-to-do. He is capable of looking after this woman and that would not even affect his bank account in any shape or form. So Mr. Kakudu Benson, please, wherever you are, please come and reach out to your ex-wife, the mother of your loving children, because she needs help desperately now. Please. So guys, I don't know if you've got anything to say, but whatever you've got to say about this very disturbing video, I would like to see it in the comment section. If you are in support of the man not helping the woman, or you are begging Mr. Kakudu Benson to come reach out to this woman, that whatever it is, whatever rancor it is, they can always resolve it. This is life we're talking about now. Human life matters. Human life first before anything else. That is my take. I don't know what you guys think, but whatever you think, I would like to say it in the comment section. Sorry about the way I'm sounding because I'm really hurting making this video. I'm human myself, so I am hurting. So please forgive me if my voice or the tone of my voice is uh, a bit strange today. This is just me when I'm hurting because this is a very disturbing video and it needs to go around. So please do not forget to make this video go around. Share, 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 and share until it gets to Mr. Kakudu Benson, who we need to come and act promptly. So thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Love yourself. Love people around you. Please let love rule. Please, and make sure you stay out of trouble so you'll be able to watch my more videos that I'm going to be making. Thank you, guys.